I'm a firm believer that people don't lack what they believe they lack, but what people lack is faith. Now, it's not a secret, and anybody who's ever read the Bible can understand that the Bible says, now faith is the substance. Now, when we talk about substance, the first thing that comes to most people's minds when you mention the word substance, you think of something tangible or something that, that can be conceived or perceived or something that can be obtained. Substance like a house, a car, a husband, a wife, children, family, certain substance. The word substance without knowing the, the Webster, Miriam Dictionary definition of substance, the first thing come to mind to me when I say substance is I'm thinking that when I put uh, uh, food in my mouth there's an emptiness that's being filled with a substance and what that substance allows me to do is receive the proper nutrients from my body so that I can operate and do the things that I must do and it also brings a certain form of fulfillment and desire if it's something that I really want to eat now when I say substance the the, 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 the the scripture goes on to say is now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Things hoped for. So a substance of things hoped for. Now we as a believer know that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him, whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So the number one thing that we hope for in substance is heaven. Now in order for us to understand heaven without actually going there, being there, the scriptures describe heaven in different forms and fashions. And what we can understand from the description is it, heaven is described based off a substance, mainly that the roads of heaven are paved in gold. Gold, as we know it as human beings, is a substance. I'm not talking about the gold you wear around your neck that you pay two or three hundred dollars for. I'm talking about pure gold. Gold is made with a substance. So we can understand that heaven is, is a place that that's full of, filled with glorious substances of or things that we can't even obtain here on earth. So it's something that we hope for. So number one priority in the life of a believer is the substance of gaining the hope for heaven. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So what you need to understand is you're not lacking the things that, that, that you do see. You're not lacking, well, I want a new car, I want a new house, I need a job so I can get this. See, that stuff will get you in bondage. When you chase after things that you can see versus the things that God wants you to have, that will get you in bondage. Because another scripture says in Hosea 4 and 6 that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you're not lacking uh, uh, the, the substance, you're lacking the faith or the knowledge of the faith so you can receive the substance and get and have hope that's what's really lacking in your life you're not lacking money you're not lacking credit you're not lacking a husband you're not lacking a wife you're not lacking children if you don't have the faith faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god i'm preaching to you right now the word of the living god so that you can receive substance and in that substance you can have hope and hope will give you the, the understanding that you don't have to sell yourself short to receive the things that God has for you. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when you can see something that you're trying to go after without understanding the word of God, it will destroy you because you don't have the knowledge to receive it. I know it may sound confusing to some, but when you when you break it down and take time to meditate on it and put that substance in your mouth and oh taste and see, your eyes will be open to the truth of the word. And so often I see people put themselves in bondage based off of things they want based off of vanity and lust but what the word will allow you to do is see what God has for you by way of promise and he will help you to understand you can have things without any kind of sorrow added to it I will bless you and I will not add a sorrow to it God and that's what he's trying to do he's trying to give you a hope a substance based off of knowledge of the faith now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things. Now see, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. When we reject knowledge, what we're rejecting is the hope that God has given us to gain the substances or the things that we desire in our heart. That's why it's so important for us to understand the scripture. Not just what it says, not just what the it, the the, the, what the word is saying but the substance of the word so we can gain our understanding and walk in victory